Thank you so much to the official channel sponsor, the Wealth Masters Club, for helping ordinary people make money through property investments in specialized trusts. Click the link in the description to find out more. What's going on guys, before we get into this video, giveaway time, we'd just like to thank you guys so much for getting us to 30,000 subscribers. So for my ourselves at this property, we'd just like to give you guys a little something something, giveaway two nights stay at Serenity Villa, which is the luxury villa that we did tour in Camps Bay. All you have to do is one, make sure that you are following us on Instagram. Two, make sure that you are indeed subscribed to this channel. Third, and finally, leave your Instagram handle down below so we know how to find you. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's drop in. everyone welcome back to another episode of let's prop and if this is your first time here i go with nimo Spear Spear. what we do on this channel is that we explore and showcase some of the most beautiful homes in and around south africa today we are in durbanville at the clara and fontaine estate this is about 25 minutes north of cape town cbd we're looking at a five bedroom stunning home over 655 square meters under roof on a 1300 square meter earth over 50% uh, coverage. This home is stunning. I think this is one of the best properties we've toured. So excited to share this with you guys. Before we get into it though, massive shout out to Pauline for giving us this amazing opportunity to share her listing with you guys. I'll put the listing details and her details down below. And if you haven't yet subscribed, I'm gonna need you to go down there and destroy that subscribe button. Give us a like and tell us which areas you'd like us to tour next. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's drop in. Right, so starting the tour on this main or ground floor, this is a multi-level home. Um, be but before we get into a lot of things, I'd like to draw you guys to this double leaf electric gate, which opens up perfectly, and you drive in here, which slightly descends onto this well-paved motor court, hedged with this shrubbery and greenery, which continues throughout the house, giving it that natural feel. But to my right, this home has five bedrooms, but it does have two separate uh, self-contained units. You can, you may call it an apartment if you want to, but to my right, here's the first apartment, which has every Everything that you really need to be sort of isolated and staying in your own space to my left and around the corner that's where the second self-contained unit is but as we come this side for the self this first self-contained unit you have your own sort of parking here which is perfect and I love the greenery which wraps around this whole um, parking space so coming this side this is a two-car garage but as you can see this is a large motor court you can probably fit six more cars on the outside currently this two car garage is being used as a gym and if you can look at it it's a stunning gym it gives it has that dark feel to it probably more suited to our crossfit uh viewers and subscribers uh, i'm sure you guys will understand what's going on here um coming this side the home in terms of uh power you have a 20 kva uh, inverter system, so in terms of load shedding, there's something to help you out. To my left, this tiny door is access to storage for a lot of things that you don't want outside here, you can store them perfectly. This door goes directly into the house, but we'll go through the main entrance first. This this home and the estate is bound, bound uh, next to this, this, next to this estate is a sort of gated, protected game reserve. So throughout the tour, we might, from the junk shows, we might be lucky enough to see some um, animals and um, buck running around. As you come here, this beautiful, neat area, I think as you come here, you're already anticipating, as you're seeing, you're, you're anticipating that this home is gonna be filled with high quality materials. To my right, you get this beautiful vegetation, which is 
complemented very well with this cladding, this natural stone cladding. It's, it gives me that natural feel to the entrance and high, I think everything in this home is very neat, high quality. Uh, I'm excited to share this home with you guys because we haven't seen anything quite like it. Um, as you see here uh, in front of us, it's slightly elevated to give you that endless feel of view to the mountain, to the far mountain ranges, Overberg and the overall so wine lands and farm, farmlands. And you walk in here and it's, it's contrast really the entryway because here it's more of that modern contemporary, contemporary architecture, high quality to my right. You get this large mirror. I really love this textured wallpaper that they use throughout the house. You'll see it in the powder room and in the other uh, bathrooms. But I love the space, grand entrance here. You get this large, um, double volume window opening, which gives you this ton of lighting pouring into the space and a suspended chandelier will be installed into this entryway just to give it more of that dramatic feel. All the furniture in this home does come with the sale. Um, so as we come up here, this landing flows perfectly into this lounge area. But before we get to the lounge area, first show you guys this beautiful powder room. As a guest walking into this powder room, you're already so impressed by this wallpaper, this dark wallpaper that we just saw. It's a very spacious behind the doors, the water closet. I love this golden, um, this circular mirror with the golden accents around. Stunning suspended, suspended uh, light fixtures. And at the top, you get this LED lighting, which gives you that skylight type of effect. So coming back towards you guys, Behind you, cabinetry space for your linen towels, all that stuff. I love the, tr the golden trimming uh, to the handles. It's very continuous or uh, consistent throughout the whole home. So coming towards this side, the TV lounge area. One thing I do love about this home and the details that uh, were incorporated is the recessed niche, you may call it, where the TV is recessed into the walls that you don't ever feel like you're gonna walk into the uh, walk into the TV. I, I find that is a problem sometimes, but very large area. This is a cozy area, the way in which the couch is set up, it gives you that sort of cozy, immersive experience to just sit here as a family and watch the TV. I love these openings on the side, gives you a little bit of natural lighting. And here you have this beautiful gas, gas um, fireplace. I'm sure we will show you guys this in the cutaway shots. So as we come this side to my left, the, um, the, the floor finish changes from this light gray, large tile to this uh, warmer wooden, wooden flooring. Very stunning home study with this black cabinetry, open shelving this side. I love the, I love the use of this color palette of the blacks, golds and dark browns. Gives you that, that luxurious feel to the space. And this is only the, the home study. So coming back towards you guys, I love the way this space flows perfectly. It gives you that open, open plan type of living and <laughs> approaching this incredible gourmet kitchen. I mean, I don't even have words to try and describe this insane kitchen. This is probably one of the, this is probably one of the best kitchens we've seen. What do you think? 100%. This, it, it, it's incredible. I mean, as soon as you walk in as a guest, you're greeted by this beautiful engineered stone countertop with this, with these darker colored veins and stunning bar chair set up with this infill of the, uh, the, the wooden panels, which is used also as cabinetry. And you come this side, golden bronze like trimming to the tap fixtures. And it's, the, the, it's generous in space, that's also another thing. But I love this engineered stone countertop that they use throughout the whole kitchen. It gives you that like, luxurious feel. You get a six burner, it'll gas hob, and above us it's almost floor to ceiling cabinetry space. There's abundant amount of cabinetry space that you'll never sort of complain about the, the cabinetry. Whirlpool integrated appliance, and as I said, the furniture is coming with the sale. And I love these suspended light fixtures. It has this good, this, this dark black tint to it, three of them, and it, it, it increases the ambiance to the space. So coming this side is sort of like a separate uh, scullery, uh, pantry place, and behind you guys, if you come this side, this even, even for uh, a, a separate kitchen or behind the office kitchen, this is a very stunning continuation of this 
um, beautiful countertop, LED lids, and also again with these uh, golden trimming to the handles. Very stunning. And behind you guys to the left, you can use this to exit the other side for the sort of the the staff quarters. Uh, that second uh, self-contained unit that I was speaking about. So coming this side, this is a beautiful mitered edge finish. Tells you a lot about the intentions behind this this property. Rainwater edge to this, uh, waterfall edge to this countertop. Coming this side and looking at this 10-seater dining table. From here, the views are incredible. It flows perfectly to the outdoor areas because these, are po these pocket doors open way open and on a day like this it's perfect coming this side and the the continuous open plan living is it is even more emphasized by the way it just flows perfectly to this side this is sort of a, a lounge type of setup behind me you get this beautiful bar area a large tv with this i love this material that they use as the backdrop it gives that luxurious feel and sort of symmetry to the space this side you get the the wine cooler the ice making machine continuation of this beautiful countertop and i love these this finish to these tap fixtures and in the powder room you'll see if you look back a lot of the touch points are very high quality with this dark black matte finish if you guys follow me this side you have the lounge of seat sitting set up here i love also the console setups that they did use throughout the whole home. They always have these, these console setups with beautiful arrangements of uh, accessories, which does increase that, that luxurious feel and like the opulence feeling off to the space. Throughout the whole home, I mustn't fail to mention surround sounds that's infilled into the ce ceiling, centralized air conditioning, um, which is controlled through tablets and, um, and outlets on the light switches. Also recess, beautiful recess lighting. And I love the, when we go back to sort of like the TV area, I'll show you, I love the use of the, the suspended ceiling and the bulkheads. Beautiful sort of area here where you have a stunning views of the mountain range, but as we come outside, but before we, we go there, you have a bright area here, indoor, outdoor. It's very, it's very, it's very ambiguous where the, where the indoors and outdoors um, end, which is something that you love. Stack doors opened up and here you have an arrangement of outdoor seating. And as you come here to my right, you have this beautiful, beautiful swimming pool, which does have an electronic cover that you can close off um, on days where you're wanting to close it off. And as you come this side, this is an AstroTurf out decking, AstroTurf out surface, which is very low maintenance, which are, uh, which is, comes very handy. Around it, you have the shrubbery, which is um, hedging the, this whole space, and the see-through glass balustrade, which gives you that endless feel of views. And if you look at the views, it's very incredible. On a day like this, it's stunning. You get the overall sort of Durbanville area, the mountain range, uh, Overberg, incredible, clear day. There's no other days that you can want in this area. Coming back this side, that was the first living floor. Incredible, high quality. Um, I think that's one thing I can sort of take from this floor, very high quality. And that kitchen, go down in the comments and, uh, and comment if you've seen sort of a better kitchen or better designed kitchen on this channel. Next thing, we're gonna look at the top floor where we're gonna look at the bedrooms to this house. Let's go. Coming up the staircase, I love this wooden treads that they use. It really does warm up this space against these whiter colored walls. I love the balustrades, this, this see-through balustrade, which gives you this endless feel of view with the uh, living space down below. And with it, it's complemented by this chrome uh, railing. And as you look above me, you get the suspended light fixtures pendants, which is very stunning. It, it introduces a, a lot of different in points of interest to the space. And behind me here, maybe let's come a bit further up just to see these incredible views that this large, picturesque window does have to offer. From here, you can essentially see the mountain range from far and also the overall Durbanville area. And you get a lot of, Durbanville is known for its wine farms, uh, farmlands, and 
One thing I did know about Durbanville is actually um, home to Jack Parra, which is uh, South Africa's popular rapper in South Africa. So we get to this landing here. This is uh, Paul's pajama lounge. Beautiful. I love the, the, the orientation of it. It's very deliberate and intentional to take advantage of this incredible view that you have. And because this is the elevated level, you get an unobstructed view of the these fields. It's very tranquil, um, Durbanville. I feel really, really at peace here. Yeah, it's, it's quiet, it's tranquil. This is a 24 hour manned estate. So at, on entrance, you do have to, if you're visiting, you do have to present a code. Or if you are a resident, you have to sort of do that whole biometric system entry uh, access. So coming this side, you have a sort of Nokia coffee station, currently used as a coffee station and the artworks in this home are absolutely amazing. They complement the space very well, the color schemes of these artworks, because they complement the handles, the countertops, the, the cabin tree surfaces. It's very intentional, I really love that. So coming this side, as I said, the, there are five bedrooms on this floor. First bedroom as we enter, touch point again, consistent with that black finish to the touch point. And actually we are actually, we did get lucky today. Um, I, I'm not sure if the camera can show it, but in front of us, we are getting views of our own natural geographic from this room. Um, I think that is a, it's not a spring buck, I think it's the Impala or is it a spring, it's a spring buck? buck. It's a spring buck. So two of them, they're very, very natural feeling. I ima imagine this being your room and when you're waking up, you have the incredible views, you have this, uh, gated, protected nature reserve here, two spring bucks in front of you, essentially in your backyard. And behind you guys, you do get the cabinetry space, a lot of cabinetry space, and even in all the rooms, you do get the, the aircon, good sized room. I love the, the floor, this timber floor finish. It does uh, warm up the space very well. So coming towards the side, each room is en suite. You get these pocket doors that open and close I love the use of pocket doors. They really are efficient in terms of use of space. Coming in here, floating vanity with the seamless countertop. You have the bath set up there, perfectly set up for to take advantage of the views. And then the shower here, beautiful tiling. There's these large gray tilings that, with this rustic veins in it. It really does um, give you that feel of uh, textures coming alive, not just uh, a plain marble towel. Coming in here, large shower head, beautiful, neat outlet. You have a niche here to put all your uh, showering access ex accessories. So then coming back to your, you guys, and coming out here, in terms of the aircon, you can con uh, control the temperature through these um, devices. Coming out here into, into the second bedroom, sort of um, mirror finish, to the room which we just saw, but this one I think is slightly bigger and also has a different view. Whereas this one has more of a northern view, sunset, it's taking advantage of that late afternoon sunset or sunshine. Behind you guys, floor to ceiling cabin tree. This is abundant amount of cabin tree space. Above us, you do have this play on the bulkhead with the suspended ceiling and the bulkhead surrounding that. Recessed lighting, um, very contemporary design. I love that the, the, um, that the, the, the curtain railing has been sort of concealed with this uh, dropped uh, suspended ceiling, very minimalist approach to that. Coming this side, and that's another thing, um, or oh, re-emphasizing what I did say about sort of the the niches or the recessed niche that they did use to recess the TVs into the walling, gives you that seamless feel to this, to this uh, wall. Coming this side into the bathroom, very large bathroom, floating vanity to my left, large mirror and this is a large shower rainwater shower head similar finishes to the bathroom that we just saw in that previous bedroom and to my right sun is, is beaming in here but this is perfect for a late afternoon um, in cape town durbanville bathtub here and water closet behind us or to my left coming back this side into the landing that we just came from and going towards the other side to looking at the other bedrooms this is the third room on this uh sleeping floor aircon in this room also and just re-emphasizing how curtain rails are recessed or um 
concealed by this suspended ceiling, recessed lighting, and also here you, you also get your own balcony. And I love that it's 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 a private balcony and it doesn't almost stretch to the the whole home to the other bedrooms. So come in this side. I love these these bathrooms, the finishes in this bathroom. I hope the camera does sort of do these bathrooms justice because the finishes are absolutely um, incredible. This tile finish, it even has sort of like a glass finish to it where it bounces off the lighting that's pouring into this, into this uh, bathroom. Floating vanity, large mirror, and yeah, shower head, um, high quality, high quality, high quality, neat outlet. So coming towards you guys, cabinetry or uh, storage facility here or cabinetry space, abundant. Coming back this side and I love the contrast between the warmer material and the more cooler material in the in the um, this pyjama lounge. Following me this side, that was the third bedroom. This is here you get you just get your laundry room, two laundry machines here, and I love I love this sort of mirror that you also have uh, and have a little bit of a view while doing your laundry. Always a good thing. This very interesting backsplash with this pentagon shaped tiling, um, mirroring the finish that you have on these countertops, um, essential. You have lots of cabin trees here, slightly different textured cabin tree to this, to this one in the laundry room, but very stunning room that you have here for a laundry room. So just closing off this laundry room and coming this side into the main bedroom. This main bedroom is, is something to see. I love the, the high ceilings throughout this home. I hope you guys have noticed how high the ceilings are throughout. So entering this main bedroom, very large, generous in size. And one detail I really love is this, is this are these uh, wooden timber panels that they use as the, as the walling. Uh, very stunning and this geometric shapes, diagonal, um, moldings that they have on these panels, very beautiful. It, it, it's something, it draws your eye to it. Large bedroom, large bed, two side tables either side of it, and these side tables do also have this beautiful leather finish to it. Coming this side, you have a, a couch here, which, which even shows you how massive this bedroom is. Um, recessed lighting throughout, bulkhead, LED lighting throughout the, the perimeter, of the bulkhead, just to also emphasize the, the ambience of the space. So coming this side, open openness of the space is beautiful because it just flows into this walk-in closet. Either side of here, you have lots of floor to ceiling cabinetry space. And above us, you have this stunning uh, suspended light fixture with these five light fixtures. Then following me this side, Beautiful. I love, I love every single, this home, every single um, room and space is just high quality and no, no space has been left so behind. Everything is just at that high point in terms of quality. Here you have this large curvaceous uh, bath that is, is perfectly placed here. So if you bought, if you're having a bath here, the views from here is incredible because in the distance you can actually see the mountain range which it actually looks like a picture from here or even a wallpaper from this angle. Coming this side, very large walk-in shower, two rainwater shower heads, you get the niche here to store your, your shower accessories, um, herringbone shaped tiling throughout the, um, the, the shower, very beautiful finish, I mean, this, this just tells you the intention behind the whole design and this whole home that in terms of quality, they did not hold back. Water closet here, towel rail, and this opening here, bringing a little bit of natural lighting into the space. Still with the high ceilings throughout, so coming this side back into the main bedroom, out into the balcony, just to show you guys how beautiful and incredible these views are. 
This large balcony does wrap around from this main bedroom all the way to the in front of the pajama lounge, which we saw when we got to the landing of this floor. But just to emphasize it again, but because I, I, I feel like it's 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 very crucial these endless or these these see-through balustrades giving you this an uh, unobstructed view of the mountain range and even downstairs to the entertainment area. And I love the use of aggregate here, giving you more of a natural feeling amongst these very smooth uh, surfaces and finishes. So if you did make it this far, thank you so much for watching the video. Um, click a like if you did enjoy it. And if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead, destroy that subscribe button. And before we end things, massive shout out to Pauline for giving us this opportunity to share her listing with you guys i'll put the details down below and also her details so you can reach out to her directly as always from us at list prop in see you soon